So those were the clips coming from the iPhone 11 Pro time-lapse mode. Uh, no editing whatsoever was done on the clips except for cutting it to compile it into one short video. What do you guys think? Personally, most of the clips were taken with the ultra wide angle lens. All those hyperlapse or moving time lapse shots were taken with this camera mounted on a suction cup mount, like the one you use to mount your dash cam or a GoPro onto your windshield. It seems that only when I use the ultra wide angle lens, the phone manages to stabilize the footage really, really well, and I think it does an amazing job at doing that. But I could not say the same for the wide angle and the telephoto lens, which I think performs very bad under that situation. But but if you mounted it on a tripod, steady somewhere and taking a solid or taking a steady time-lapse footage, it's gonna do well. I suppose all in all, uh, you can't really go wrong with the ultra wide angle lens. It performs just really amazing. The stabilization is just amazing. Personally, I would use that for my work, but uh, maybe it'll come out better in a future updates. I don't know. But if you have to use those uh, time lapse with the telephoto lens, just mount it on something stable and steady and you get a good shot. So there you have it, uh, some of the time lapse sample shots taken with the iPhone 11 Pro. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys more sample footage coming from this fella right here. The 4K footage, the low light footage. So uh, make sure you guys are subscribed and maybe I'll see you guys in my next video.